Okay. Well, I just, I just want to share just something just real briefly with you all. Uh, something that the Lord showed me. Um, and I, I just so that you'll know where the ministry is going. I, I believe that every ministry should be a ministry. Not just feeding people the word of God, but looking after people. I'm, let, me, let me just say this. If the church as a whole was doing what the church was supposed to do, people wouldn't have to receive food stamps. They wouldn't have to receive government assistance. It's, it's the church's job. It's our job as believers to look after people and to make sure that they are receiving the necessities that they need to receive. It's never been the government's job. It's, uh, it's been our job. You see how we're missing the boat? It, it, you, you got folks downtown in all major cities standing in long lines to receive government assistance. And when they get to that window and the people, you know, they're filling out the application and they're turning in the application, those people aren't preaching to them. Those people don't know them don't care, may not care anything about their souls. But do you know how much of a difference we would make in this nation and in all around the world if we gave to people, if we loved them and preached the gospel? It's easy to preach the gospel to somebody you just fed. You see that? But no, we're just going to put that on the government's shoulders. Jesus, those people followed the Lord for, for four days and three days before he fed them. But, you know, they followed him, he fed them, and it was easy to preach to them. People, you, somebody told me something some years ago. They said, nobody cares about what you know until they know you care about them. You show somebody that you love them, now you got an open door to minister to them. You see, and so I, I can't remember the details of that dream, like all of the details of it. But basically, the Lord had come to me, and he told me that many people are going to miss heaven because we're not doing what's written in his word. It, it's not enough to say, okay, Lord, I give my life to you. Y you better be living that. Ask yourself, what does that mean? And so he... he, he, he this is the mandate. Let's go real, just real briefly to the 25th chapter of the book of Matthew. We won't, we're just going to read a few scriptures here. And, just, and, and, and you know, th this is not part of the sermon or anything. We're done with that. But I'm just going to show you where the Lord is wanting to take this ministry. So we're going to read, start reading at verse 31 at the 25th chapter of the book of Matthew. It says, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Now, if you know anything about this, sometimes goats can look like sheep but they don't act the same. They look like them, but don't act the same. You see that? All right, let's go ahead and keep reading. Verse 34. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was unhungered, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and you came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee, and hungered, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? When saw we thee, a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee? And the king shall answer, and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was unhungered, and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. 
I was a stranger, and ye took me not in, naked, and ye clothed me not, sick, and in prison, and ye visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee in hunger? or a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee. Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye did it not to one of the least of these, ye did it not to me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. Now, we see a list of things here that the Lord names here. He says, on that day, I'm going to separate the sheep from the goat. And I want you to notice the difference between the sheep and the goat. Both of them speaking in tongues. Both of them preaching. Both of them prophesying. Leading praise and worship. They doing all the stuff that church folks do. But look at what he says there. The difference is feeding the hungry giving drink to those that are thirsty, taking in strangers, clothing those that are naked, visiting the sick, and those that are in prison. Now that's supposed to be a part of the ministries of God. Now this is something I think I shared with my wife when we first got married. The Lord had placed it on my heart years ago. Now I'm just, I'm saying all this because now it's time to share it. You know, this is something that's been on my heart. But the other night, the Lord reiterated it to me that the day will come where we will have a shelter, a building where we can minister to people. That, that to me, that's where the Lord is wanting to take this ministry, where we'll have a shelter where we can house people, where we can feed them, where we can clothe them. We'll have a ministry where to go into prison and also visit the sick and things like that. All of these things is part of our responsibility. These aren't, you know, multiple choice where we just pick what and choose what we want to do. He lays it out very clear here. The difference between the sheep and the goats. The goats didn't do any of this. It didn't stop them from having church. They just didn't take care of people. The sheep looked after people. Looked after the necessities, looked after their needs. Now, I'm sharing this with you so you'll see the vision that I see, that this is where the Lord is bringing us to. You see that? This is where the Lord is bringing us to. Now, the night that the Lord showed me this, I saw that same fire again, like the way I saw it in that tree there. You see that? And I, I thought my wife had heard me when I, because when I saw it, I said, I see you, Lord. It just a uh, fire suspended up in the air you see that but he was just making it clear to me this is what he's called us to do as believers to look after people you see that to be a giving ministry to be a ministry that ministers now I don't even know why folks call it a ministry if you're not ministering and it, it's more than just word you see that you 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 have a hard time getting people to come and hear you preach but you feed somebody that's hungry, they'll listen at you preach. <laughs> you see, hunger does something to people. <laughs> Being cold, that does something to people. And I, I'm just sharing this. I don't know how many brothers I have known to go into prison, and as soon as they get there, they convert over to Islam. You know why? Because Christians are asleep. You see that? We letting the government beat us to the punch with ministering to people. You see that? But I'm telling you, we can win people to the Lord if we learn to minister to them. And that's my prayer, and I pray that that's your prayer. Lord, how can I minister to people? How, what can I do? What is the part that I'm supposed to play? Amen.